Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the electrifying world of EFIT Broadcast Channel. Before we dive into the heart-pounding action, let's set the stage with a brief disclaimer. The following content is an EFIT Broadcast Channel event created within the WWE 2K universe. All characters, storylines, and events are fictional and exist solely for entertainment purposes. Any resemblance to real-life individuals, living or deceased, is purely coincidental. Viewer discretion is advised. This show may contain intense simulated combat, dramatic rivalries, and over-the-type personas. It's all in good fun, but please remember that these are digital avatars, so grab your imaginary popcorn, suspend your disbelief, and let's get ready to rumble. Now, let the virtual battles commence. I like your take on boobies. And I like boobies. Gun. Hi, hi, hi. Gun. I am the high gun. Don't test me. I am the high gun. Don't test me. I am the high gun. I am the high gun. I am the higher gun who about to set it off. Watch me leap from the top with the coup de grace. It's scary hours for you, you and all of y'all. How you want a submission to pinfall? I am the higher girl who about to set it off. Watch me leap from the top with the coup de grace. It's scary hours for you, you and all of y'all. This is Herm Broken Talk Podcast with your host, the higher girl. First, like, subscribe, share. How you doing, y'all? Well, uh, I'm back before SmackDown, uh, before SmackDown tonight. It's already been, uh, it, it's already went live already, uh, because they overseas right now. It's the first time they're doing a, uh, a SmackDown, uh, over there. They're doing a SmackDown, and then tomorrow we get to pay for you for, uh, for Saudi, for Saudi, you know. So, looking good, looking good. I know the results and stuff. I'm not going to say anything about it. But, you know, what we got before that, Triple H announced that the winners of the King and Queen of the Ring would get, um, would get title shots from their respective brands. So, meaning, if Randy won, he couldn't pick and choose which was brand he wanted the title shot from. Same thing if Tugger won or if Naya won. Alright? Um, or, uh, um, the rookie. Uh, Laura, uh, whatever her name is. Like, like, if she went, she can't just jump boat and go to SmackDown. Nah, nah. So they had to pick. They had to pick. Uh, Vira, yeah, Vira, yeah. They had to pick from the brands that they on. So if Orton wins, he gets to fight. Um, Cody. Same thing with uh, with Tonga. If Tonga wins, he got to fight Cody. At SummerSlam. So. You know, last episode I said that uh, I said that uh, as soon as Gunther got in this, he was it, like he was gonna win. Now that we know that someone gets a title shot, it's not it's not clear. It's not clear now, now because both of them and I. Because we can say for both of them, right now, they don't need this. I mean, for for Orton, I mean, the only person who would need this is Tonga, which I can say something what happened uh, on the show. They changed something on the show. Tonga's brother couldn't couldn't go overseas. Crossing the border now. Carl Heyman did say something about 
he doesn't know about these people getting added, you know, Kennedy across the border. It's being a hypocrite. It's being a hypocrite. Because we had to worry about Jimmy and Jay at one point going across the border too. Alright? So, like, like, Paul saying that it's, it's, it's bullshit. You know? Paul saying that Being hypocritical, so they did change the match because uh, uh, Montez Ford was supposed to fight on Tonga Law today, but that match didn't happen because they switched it. They switched it to LA Knight and the Street Profits versus uh, uh, Camilla Hayes. And they tied down, they switched it, and they added the match to the to the pay per view. Jade and uh, we uh, won't say that. Won't say what they added. Spoiling it for y'all, then. Cause like I said, I know everything. I'm, a, I'm a, and I'm gonna still watch SmackDown tonight. You know, cause I didn't, I didn't see SmackDown. I just know the results for it. So I can't give you a ranking on the show or anything because of the fact that. I don't know what happened. I mean, I don't know how how everything went. I just know the results from from it. You know, um, there's a preoccupation that happened too. Uh, that's already been out on the net. And, and, you know, I'm not too too keen on these uh, 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 codes. I never ever look for them. You know, I just find out about them later on. Nah, they, they're not for me. But so. The people who don't need the title shot to get a title shot is Randy, Gunther, uh, and Bianca. And to a certain extent, uh, to a certain extent, Nia Jax too. You know, they don't they don't need that to get a title shot because they've been making the impact. Oh, yeah, and they've been making the impact from jump. Like, if you wanted to see Cody versus, uh, Randy at SummerSlam, you can make that happen. That's a, that might speak for itself, you know? If we wanted to see Gunther versus Damian Priest, that might speak for itself. Or Gunther versus Drew McIntyre, that might speak for itself. That if, if Gunther wins, then... Drew McIntyre is not winning. He's not winning. Because I can see it going... I can see it going different. Man. I can see... Sam Punch still Drew McIntyre out of his title match. Um, at Clash of the Castle. You know, and then I can see Gunther challenging Damian Priest at SummerSlam. And winning. I can definitely see that. I can definitely see that happening. I also can see Finn challenging Damian Priest for the belt at SummerSlam. You know, so I have to see. I have to see. But you know, uh, some other news. Some some other news happened on a couple of days ago. SummerSlam. And what, next year? Or 2006? Um, I don't know. I think I guess the next year. Oh, uh, yeah, 2006. SummerSlam will be at Minnesota. But it won't be for one day. It'll be for two days. Now, me and the boys were talking about this shit. Um, when we find out this news. Maybe the bit for it. Uh, I'm not sure what. Like Rio, Coop, Eddie. Uh, us, you know, we talked about this. Um, maybe the bit for pay per views get um, the title shots. Uh, I mean, that title shot, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, maybe the bit for get get two nights. Now, I heard something about 
I heard something about the reason they doing this because Mania might be over there in Saudi in Saudi and probably won't be too late then. I don't know. But maybe the bit four get get uh two nights. And the bit four or WrestleMania, SummerSlam, um, the Royal Rumble and uh Survivor Series. And you know when we talked about I forgot about Survivor Series, but War Games is a big deal. So yeah. Right, like like these four get two nights. Now, the reason they doing SummerSlam because SummerSlam is is, is is supposedly supposedly supposed to be the second biggest pay per view other than WrestleMania. You know. Now lately it hasn't been promoted like that lately. And maybe and maybe people are just trying to um change that, which is cool. I like it. Now, you know, you got certain people who who just don't complain who 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 are just trying to complain to complain. Or bitch to bitch. Can't help you know, and then you know, you, you got those people who say, Oh, you know, I got my own opinion. Nah 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 nah, you just like the bitch. He's like to complain, and you know, because if 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 New Japan did it or AEW did it, that shit would be great, right? Right? Like, there's any people who bitch about a, a certain match they not being added to the card. It's the same people who bitching about it being two nights, you know. But this this is a good thing. Now, I I wouldn't want to see every pay per view two nights. But the bit four, I can I can get behind. I can I I can especially get, get behind SummerSlam being two nights. Uh, uh yeah yeah you know I I can definitely get behind. But I but I can yeah, I can get behind the bit four pay per views being two nights. It gives, it gives it more more of a feel, especially especially if every other pay per view is gonna be overseas. You know, especially if any other pay per view is going to be global, like in Japan or Canada or Puerto Rico or you know Australia or you know you know if every other pay per view is going to be overseas, then yes, yes, the pay per views that that we get down here should be two nights because we're not getting pay per views like that no more. You know, we're not we're not guaranteed to get a pay per view uh, over here anymore. Like Money in the Bank, or um, No Mercy, or Extreme Rules. These pay per views won't be over here anymore. So yes, yes, I can understand. I can understand it being overseas. I mean, I can understand us getting pay per views like that. Or that two nights because it means more than, and we're not we're not taking it for granted anymore, you know. But it also means we got to get these crowds over here better, you know. It also means that Def definitely means that. So, the Saudi, we're gonna get six matches. Like I said, I know they added a match. Won't I won't kill, I won't knock the match that they are not not I won't mention the match that they had. Y'all see y'all see the name, but I'm gonna give my positions on who I think is gonna win. You know the whole thing. So first, I think I think Orange is gonna be Tugger. Like this is a this is a guaranteed thing here. Even though I, like I know the win, I know who wins already, but. The biggest mess you can get in the pay per view is Orion versus Gunther. So, you know, now, you know, the one that's an iffy is the Bianca versus Knight. Alright, but, you know, and this is, so this is the opposite from saying the biggest match because the biggest match would have been Bianca versus 
um, like Europe, you know. That would, but that would have been face. That would have been face versus face, you know. So, and you wanted the Goliath versus uh, David versus the Goliath, the Goliath match when it comes to Vakura versus um, Naya, you know. So, like, there's that. All right, but then, all right, let's say, and then for a woman, I think Naya's gonna win. I got uh, tonight. I so you know when we get to the to the pay-per-view tomorrow, I think Naya is gonna be like her and I think Orton is gonna be uh I don't know. Because I was saying Gunther the whole time. Now the title shot the the, the title shot is there. Like I said, Orton Necessary doesn't need the title shot. I mean, he doesn't need to win the title shot to fight Orton. I mean, to fight Randy at SummerSlam. Doesn't need to happen. I mean, but... Uh, so, I'm going to go with Gunther. I, I'm going to still go with Gunther. Because Gunther needs the title shot more than Orton does. Because we can just set up set up the Orion thing. And, you know, I, I see what they did with AJ on, on the show. We won't spoil it, but that's, that's interesting. That's interesting right there. Very, very interesting. Maybe, like I said in the last episode, maybe they trade AJ and they trade uh, Braun and they, and they switch them on. They, they, they switch brands with them too. Maybe that happens. Maybe that happens because how AJ was talking tonight, he know what he wants and, and he know what he wants and you know he doesn't have a lot of time. Alright, so maybe that happens. Um, maybe that happens. Oh yeah, like I'm reading something on the uh, on the, on the site I follow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, so this is. SummerSlam 2019 is because what if we do Mania over there? You know, what if we do Mania over to, 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 to Saudi? You know, like what if we do Mania over there to Saudi uh, in 2006? Uh, in, 2000, uh, in 2026, you know, what if they do uh, Saudi over there instead? You know, um, you know, uh, so, what that mean? What that mean? It, it won't be two nights. Or in London. Oh, okay, okay. So, the reason they saying the reason that 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 they probably probably give SummerSlam two nights because what if they do Saudi? I mean, what if they do the WrestleMania that year? Over there in Saudi or in, in London, they give us a pay per view over here as two nights to make up for to make up for what we didn't get uh, from Mania over here. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see that happen. Um, definitely see that going that route. Uh, Oh yeah, I'm I'm just kind of um I 
trying to see something. I'm reading the world on. And, oh, I know what I have to talk about. MJF. So apparently, MJF signed the, MJF signed the contract. You know, last year. So, you know, he, um. Yeah, last year. Uh. Uh, he, like, so, so, he, he, he ain't going nowhere. Alright? Like, he's not going nowhere. Going nowhere. Uh, you know, because he signed a contract last year. On extension. So, no time soon. Now, another distinction that I want to talk about, I want to talk about, um, I'm going to go back to my predictions. Sorry, y'all. But another thing I want to talk about is Anderson Black's contract. So I know more details about his contract. So he signed a three year deal back in of one seven AEW. Right? And there's 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 a two year option for Tom, for Tony Khan uh to pick up when when Anderson Black contract runs out Tony Khan has an option to pick up to pick up the next two years if he wants to. Same thing they did with um same thing with Impact did with other uh, Impact. Yeah, TNA did with um the Walking Weapon in his contract. Like it was expiring and they picked up they picked up the, the, the following year for his contract. So he had to stay. They can do that. They can do that with um and it's the black and, and, and uh, Murphy, if they want to. Alright? But, um, Black's contract is coming up. And AEW got to decide if they don't keep him or they don't let him go. You know, Tony Khan had a, he had a choice to do that with uh, Cody. And I know, I know he, I know, I know he regrets not picking it up, but he didn't. Didn't. So did he do that with Anderson? I, I'm pretty sure he could have did that with um Andrade at one point. You know, too. So we'll see. We'll see. And I don't see uh I don't see Anderson Black winning against uh Edge this this, this Sunday. But we'll see. We'll see. Um going back to the to the pay per view for Saturday for for WWE. So, I got Gunther winning, and I got Nia Jax winning, right? I got, I got Sammy retaining, even though, yeah, I got Sammy winning, um, overseas. Because, as long as Sammy don't pin, um, Chad, and he pins Bronson Reed, it's cool. It's cool, but you know, and, and they can keep fighting after that. Sammy and uh, you uh, know, Sammy and um, Sammy and uh, and Shaq, they can keep fighting after that, All right? And they did. It just don't have to be uh, with um. Sorry, uh, um, yeah, so, like, like, as long as Sammy don't pin, uh, Chad, they can keep this shit rolling with them too, because Chad still has to drop dead weight. Meaning Otis, Tazawa, and um, do drop. Like they just did wait because they they sold, they sprinkled in the Creed Brothers again uh, on Monday, 
So he still got to drop them, right? But the, he can still he can still run with he can still fight Sammy again for the IC title because he got a win over Sammy. And and that's all that's all he got to say. I got I still got a win over you. You know. Um. So I see Sammy winning. Um. I see Cody winning. Like. Like, the Cody thing, like, it, 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 he was winning regardless. Whether both titles was on the line or just one. I've been saying this. Cody's going to win. Cody's going to win. Uh, I wish they had more matches. In it, which, I, which I said, they got to add another match. But, won't go into detail. I, I say this. In that match, the champs are going to win. That's what I'm saying about that. Alright. But, like, Cody's gonna win. There's no, there's no way, there's no, there's no way Cody's not gonna win. He's not gonna make Logan Paul uh, a double champ. They're not. They're not. He hasn't done enough to get that belt. In my opinion. All right, just like he didn't, like, like, he, it just, it just, nah, nah. I, I can't see it happening. Like, I can't. Um, they give it, so, neither of free, is going to be free agent, but WWE did reach out and give her a contract. Okay, so she just got to sign it. And she's been broadcast, showcased. Was better word. She's been showcased a whole lot more. Like on Raw and on NSC. Like she's been showcased a whole lot more. Alright. She's been losing still, but she's been she's been showcased more. And that's better than nothing. That that's that that's the way that's that's obvious better than, better than nothing. Alright? So but you know Good for her. Good for her. Um, I don't know if they came to um, the terms with, with the, oh, and I think uh, uh, Becky is gonna lose. I think uh, Little Morgan's gonna win the go. That, that's the match I was forgetting about. I think I think Little Morgan's gonna win. It, it, because a, and the reason I think that, because A, Becky don't need the boat. And she don't. And all the, and all the, reason, and all, and all the reason she got the boat in the first place is because they, they, they flip, they freak, freaked out when Maria got hurt. And we just put it on a safe option. Safe route. You know, I thought about this before, but that's why they did it. But so, Lil Morgan's gonna win. Lil Morgan's gonna win. I right? because the other problem they got, Becky doesn't have uh, a contract coming up because she hasn't resigned yet. Uh, now, now I think she will resign, but I also think she's gonna go on break for a little while and chill. You know, I can't see her leaving. Okay, don't. Like, like, look, like, like, fans, look, look at the shit that's happening with, uh, uh, Sasha. Yeah, she signed for, uh, yeah, she signed for bit money and all that good stuff. But what is it doing, dog? Like, it ain't, it ain't making any, any uh, moves off of AEW. You know, and this this ain't this ain't the shit on AEW, cause cause I watch AEW. You know, I don't watch AEW. I don't watch AEW to shit on them. Like like this stuff, I don't like. Like I don't like what's going on right now. I mean, I like the fact that Swerve won the won the won the belt. They're not they're not treating him like the world champion. He's not the main star, like or the uh, or the main angle. He's not. He's like in the middle. 
I got him winning, by the way, against Christian. He's coming up. All right. Um, but I, I, other than that, you know, I but and, and I heard something about Steen and his, and his uh, Steen and his uh, son. His son's done a um, wrestle. His son, his son's training to wrestle. So. I already know, and, and Derby Allen is, is, is like he's living with Der Derby Allen, and Derby Allen's helping him helping him wrestle right now. So, you know, there's that. Um, but you know, I I'm not here to shit on AEW, but but the. The days are feeling like you're on the AEW with a better place to go to WWE. Them days are over with. Alright? Like, like, I. Do I believe that Sasha and Edge are happy being with that? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. But that doesn't. Like, they're not bringing in. Bringing in a rain or people. Is it. Of bringing in people to sit in these seats right now. The only thing AEW got AEW got going for them right now is the fact that they probably put a bank on the whole, the whole um. They're probably gonna bank on the whole that that the NBA is leaving TNT. And if that happens, or, or when it happens, AEW can capitalize on that on on that. That shit doesn't mean they're gonna bring in seats or rings. Alright? So, like, I don't see Kevin Owens going anywhere, and I don't see Becky going anywhere. I just don't. I just don't. Like, like, you know, I mean, because, like, the proof is in the pudding of what's going on with Sasha right now. Yeah, she got paid, but that was, that, that was it. That was that was it, you know. But uh, so I'm in the show with that. Uh, make sure you got like, subscribe, share. Make sure you got um, watch wrestling, especially this weekend. Make sure you got watch uh, Efeds, New Breed. We should have something coming coming on pretty soon. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this is a higher gun. God bless. Love you all. I'm out.